thoughts on the Title V AGR full time conversion? Um, I know it's mostly an impact in the full time force, but that may impact a lot of the part timers' decision or not to, um, decision to or not to apply for a full time position. This question comes up a couple times when I'm walking around. Um, they're not giving us more AGRs or converting AGR technicians to AGR because they like us, you know, because this is a nice thing to do. They're doing it because it's mission readiness, is that you get more with the AGR force, uh, you have more opportunities with the AGR force, you don't have as many conversion issues with the AGR force as you do with the technician force, right? So we're never going to force somebody to convert. It's always going to be, okay, we've identified some positions, and then we'll, we'll take a look at uh, who from that area is going to be able to do that. How many people know that we're going to put a new main gate on the base? Uh, it's, just, it's already funded for design. So we get the lease. NGB is already funded us for design. We get the design done probably this year uh, is the projection. And then we put it in the budget for the following years. We'll then use the, the current main gate uh, as our ultimate gate. What's the wing's uh, vision and future with the fitness program? For sergeants are all getting trained at the same level as the fitness folks, and then they will see what's going on. If there's remedial training that's necessary for those PTLs, then they'll give it to them right there and we'll make sure they get an accurate assessment. I don't want to excel at fitness. I don't want to get a medal for fitness. I just want it to be open, transparent, repeatable, you know, objective, fair for everyone.